Well, well, hello there. It's been a while since I made a video. I've been very busy in all aspects of my life, from putting extra hours of work into building projects to trying to be a good father to my action-packed kid, and another one coming along. Life is very busy. I still need to finish my Revit structural tutorial series. I have one more video left to do for it. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you some ways you can place columns in your walls and some ways I've seen in other buildings. Here's a tip for your day-to-day -day life. As a building designer, it's a really good idea for you to go outside and observe your surroundings. For example, if you're sitting at a dentist, waiting for your appointment, or you're waiting at the train station, you know, for a train, don't immediately pull out your phone to update your Facebook status. Instead, use the time to observe your surroundings. You're in a train station. In other words, you have an opportunity to observe engineering genius all around you. How is the station that you're waiting at being designed? Look at the walls. Can you see the columns? Usually at train stations, you can see a good amount of support structure. And you can learn a lot just by taking the time to look at your surroundings. One day you'll see something that will answer the questions that were burning inside you. Like this, for example, you have a wall and in the wall is a column, except this column has been specified to be quite large in this building. And it sticks out of the wall like this. What do you do? You can align this column as much as you want to the top of the wall here, but it's still going to stick out. So what can you do as a design to cover this up? Sometimes you'd want the design of the wall to be a certain thickness, but the columns are required to be larger because of engineering. So what do you do to cover this up? Well, one example that I saw in a building as I was observing my surroundings was that the wall simply went around it. I don't know how thick this part was, but that's simply it. So if, you, if you're looking at the wall, Well, this is a terrible drawing. Anyway, you must have noticed something like this when you were sitting in a place like a dentist or a doctor's or somewhere. And sometimes the outside wall is just a plasterboard covering up the column inside. There's your simple design solution to a column sticking out of a wall.